about this, Joe? We can stop the top. Looks like you can get your finger in there. All right, may take a moment. Yes, I see the crease. There we are, starting to come out. All right, so much in there. Oh, yes. Nice and easy. Very good job. Oh my word, that was difficult, but worth it to protect. Marvelous artifacts of joy inside. Oh my word, this is wonderful. Let's just go ahead and take a look. I'm going to, yes, it might be best to take the camera for a moment. Look at this. Oh my. Just a terrific display of packaging and engineering. Yes, this must be the bat pores to slide into the bat cave. Yes, oh my word, this is just marvelous. Let's take a look at those figures at a little closer look, shall we? I'm a bit reticent to pop out all of those accessories. Uh, some of them are quite small, but I am looking forward to seeing the figures indeed. All right, well, let's start, of course, with the main man himself, Batman. Oh, wow. Just an excellent, excellent example. Right out of my childhood is what we're seeing. Just wonderful, wonderful. Let's put him down. All right, Robin, you're next. They come out safely kept, but come out with ease. It's a sign of wonderful engineering in this packaging. Well done, Mesco. Thank you, Robin. You will be seeing more of you. Alfred, one of the most underrated characters. He's terrifically, he might be a little, he's proving to be a little more of a chore to extract from his packaging, eh, Jorovic? Well, go ahead and take your time, sir. Here we are, very good. Yes. Oh, yes. Alan Napier was the actor, I believe, who played Alfred. Very good, indeed. Wonderful sculpt. Now that glorious clown prince of crime. The Joker. Oh, he is just so devilishly wonderful. And a mustache there still. Does not appear so. Cesar Romero, famous for painting over his mustache, but that is another wonderful character, indeed. Now, Burgess Meredith, who played the Penguin. Oh, my. Yes, this is just so delightful. These are wonderful artifacts of joy. For a wonderful artifact of joy that the television series in 1966 was... There's Catwoman. Now, of course, three different actresses portrayed Catwoman in the 1966 series. Lee Mayweather, Julie Newmar, and Eartha Kitt. Yeah, it's just terrifically rendered. Batman's long love. And of course, the Riddler. Yes. Oh my, just, just wonderful work. Let's take a closer look at some of these accessories, shall we? My, on and on appear signs, wonderful job. And of course, the alternate heads for when they are safely investigating a crime. 
very good job. Okay. The Batarang, the Bat Walkie Talkies, the Bat Shield. Oh, this is just so wonderful. It looks like a picture frame the Joker would use to bash. Dynamic duo with, and he has his own utility belt. I remember that from the series. Alternate heads for the penguin, his umbrella, Catwoman, the Riddler. Oh my, this must be the jet for the Batmobile. You know, this is just remarkable. And speaking of the Batmobile, perhaps it's time to find that. All right, now we're here again. All right, Jorowick, there's much more to see. This marvelous set. Let's take a look. All right, open that box back up, that marvelous box. I need more shots of that, I think. All right, okay, let's see what else is in here. Oh, we'll get this out. I know what this is. This is what we are waiting for, are we not? Come on now. Yes, indeed. All right. Let the box close and put this back. All right, let's see what's in here. Are you ready? Oh my. Oh my word, look at this. This is just marvelous. Good Lord. It is a, just a terrific example. The Batmobile. I do so love Michael Keaton's 1989 Batmobile, but this, this is my favorite. This is my Batmobile from childhood. I know it has some features here too. Of course. Oh, this is just marvelous. Look at this. Get ready for this. All right, everyone. Oh, yes. Yes, the buzz saw. Well done, Jorowick. You did your research. Yes, indeed. I just so adore this car. Yes, look at that. The Batmobile. Oh, my. Just an absolute peerless artifact of joy. Oh, my. Wonderful job. Mezco toys you've outdone yourself. And more to see yet. Let's take a look. What else is in here, I think? Oh yes, of course. We have the diorama, which we will construct. I don't know if I want to do this on camera, as it does make us look somewhat, could make us look a bit foolish at times. There are many pieces of the diorama here. This will be the bat cave, of course. Let's watch your glove there, oh, I see. We'll construct this off camera. Oh, yes, look at that. The turntable for the Batmobile. Oh yes, this is going to come together nicely, I think. It has two sides, does it not, Jorowick? Yes, of course, it has stately Wayne Manor on the other side. There it is. The gloves getting caught in the Velcro, eh, boy? Oh, this is so wonderful. Oh yeah, so there's the diorama all put together. Wonderful job. Didn't want to do that. On camera, as Jorowick and I would, I'd say, look a little foolish at times, but we have a, just a marvelous exemplar of this diorama. As you can see, everything is in place here. They get the bat pulled for Batman and Robin to swiftly uh, descend into the bat cave when trouble's afoot. And they have the uh, world, these computer stations uh, for the dynamic duo to do their. Crime lab research, you bat computer. Yes, marvelous, marvelous, marvelous work. And there we have the red phone, of course. Batman would get a call from Commissioner Gordon. Uh, it almost looks like a sink, but you know, obviously, 
There would be more to it. I do so wonder if a booster pack could be in line from Mezco. I hope this settles well, because I can see more accoutrement in this bad game. But nevertheless, I don't wish to to uh, uh, put down what they've done. This is just absolutely delightful in every conceivable way. All right, now let's get these figures in here, shall we, and their accessories. These accessories are absolutely delightful. I'll start with Batman, of course. And here's the onomatopoeia, which can be placed in his hand. Now, of course, you can check out uh, the toys where others are on Batman 66 episode, which is linked at the end here that will show much more of this. This is gas grappling gun. Batarang, of course. And bat monkey talkie and his bat canister. I believe that perhaps the bat shock repellent very famous, and here's Robin, of course. Robin, of course, comes with the onomatopoeia, as does Batman. And actually, any of these characters can use these, of course. The bat shield, which can be used by both. Uh, the bat orang, the walkie-talkie. Of course, his interchangeable head. Alfred, of course, he doesn't come with much. Uh, this is his disguise. There, each coming with his own interchangeable head. Let's go ahead, I was running out of room rather quickly here. Let's move these over. Uh, Batman, get your stuff in order here. Yes, all right. These are quite small indeed. Uh, that's okay, it's, these are the three and three quarter inch. And I, I must admit I'm quite a sucker for three and three quarter inch figures. Joker. Clown, Prince of Crime, a bat utility belt uh, from an episode of the series, I don't remember which, and uh, the picture frame he uses to bash someone over the head with, quite, quite a, a, a good gag, I must say. Uh, the Penguin, Burgess Meredith, very popular, very popular villain from the series, and then we have his disguise head, and uh, I do so like his umbrella, which... can be used he even has you stick his gas umbrella or well, water comes out you can stick this on the end like that this is quite good looks good too Catwoman. she comes with her maltese kitten and an interchangeable head for when she does not have a mask on and then, of course, the Riddler. I believe the Riddler appeared most in these series. Yeah, the money sack. Now, this is uh, one accessory here. That are you showing it, Jorah? Yes, very good. I'm not exactly sure where it, who it goes to and where it's with. I've, I've looked on the box and I don't actually see who it belongs to. Perhaps Alfred or the Joker. I'll put it right there. But I'll just just look at these marvelous artifacts of joy. I mean, it's just these are delightful. In uh, go ahead, Jorah. Yes, this is just absolutely a a triumph. All of these wonderful artifacts of joy. Oh, I, I say it so often, but these, it's just the environment and it does so remind me of childhood watching this show in syndication, falling in love with Batman, my introduction to Batman. Musco Toys has done a wonderful job. Oh, yes, that's it. Okay, okay, well, how about that, everyone? Just an absolutely delightful job. Of course, do check out the episode, the chapter of Toys with Alton on that features these characters as closely as I can. But for the unboxing, that's it. Well done, Mezco Toys.